We've talked about our help side. We've talked about denying uh, wing entries. We want to deny every entry. Let's talk about ball screens. And it's been one of the things that we were number one in the country in turnovers forced at Stephen F. Austin. Uh, everything we do is predicated on forcing the ball handler left. Okay? Now, we're not extremely intricate here, but we use the colors of the flag to initiate our offense or our defensive ball screen coverage. What we do, anytime the ball is entered to the left side of the floor, okay, so the, deep, the, the pass goes there and teams run into a ball screen, okay, this will always be what we consider a down, okay, we use the term blue, okay, so X5 is there and we shift, so let's say this is X3. X3 shifts and makes him use the screen. Again, forcing the ball handler left. We're aggressive in this. We're off the screener's, the screener's hip, forcing them to the corner. That is a blue. The top weak side guy, then as most players, most teams like to play back into the pocket, the top weak side guy, then makes a hard rotation right into the pocket, good for at least a steal a game. Think about it, we're forcing the ball handler left, and the only pass that he can make is usually left-handed, cross-court, long pass. Very few teams play with a loaded corner, so there's usually another defender back here. This allows one defender then to be able to guard two for an instant while this guy gets back if that's the case. Very aggressive way to handle it, but again, we're of the philosophy that we want to force everybody to their non-dominant hand, force them left, and something that's been extremely effective for us in guarding ball screens. That is what we call the blue side, which is a, which is a downside when it's in, in, in entered to the left side of the floor. As the ball's entered to the right side of the floor, Ball becomes right there, and there's a ball screen being set. Again, our defensive principle is to be up the floor, okay, in line. So now we beat the defender out, or the offensive player out, and now we are going to hard hedge this. Guy guarding the ball jumps low, he hears the call. This is an X2, and we are forcing them to stay what we call in the gutter, okay, on the sideline. We do not want that guy to go, okay, anywhere to the middle. Weak side defender is, is off the ball, and if they lift, his job is to deny any reversal pass. So what we're telling the offense, you must use the screen and you must throw back. Most teams will pop this guy run a pick and pop action. We will exit if need be, depending on personnel, depending on how long we want to stay in the hedge. We determine hedge length by the player. Uh, very scout oriented. Sometimes it's a one, sometimes it's up to a three dribble hedge, and at times we've even blitzed it to get it out of the ball handler's hands if he's a very good offensive player. So we do that based on scouts, but again, Everything's going left with their, with their left hand, and we're telling the offense, you cannot reverse the ball. We're denying that reversal. You have to play back through the pop, and we will create an X out action if we have to, again, based on personnel.